We begin tonight, though, with that new wave of COVID cancellations. Many ticket holders turned away tonight. CBS 2's Jermont Terry reports the city will soon require proof of vaccination just about everywhere. Jermont, COVID, though, is already taking its toll downtown. Yep. Yeah, you're right about that, Brad. You know, there are mixed reactions. You know, Chicagoans and tourists are learning what's needed to dine in and truly enjoy in just about every aspect of the city. Proof of vaccination, as you mentioned, will be a requirement in the new year. But we're already seeing so many cancellations. Here at the Cadillac Palace, take a look. The signs are already up, letting people know that performances are canceled and people are wondering how many more will take place. We came a long way. We planned a whole trip, you know, a room and everything. With the holiday season in full swing, 2021 is turning out to be another COVID Christmas, leaving so many disappointments. This family drove in from Ann Arbor, Michigan, only to find out their son and daughter would not hop on the Polar Express. And the lady came up and she said, we really are sorry about this and you're going to be refunded fully. Uh, but we have to cancel it because all of the performers in the show, we have too many test positive for COVID. And cancellations keep popping up. Tonight's show has been canceled. This crowd outside the Chicago theater never made it through the doors to see Barry Manilow. Minutes before the show, this tweet went out. We're sorry, Chicago. Barry is okay, but several of our cast and crew have tested positive for COVID. The Omicron variant is sweeping the nation, including Chicago. Mayor Lori Lightfoot says it's the reason starting January 3rd, anyone five years or older must show proof they are fully vaccinated to even enter a restaurant. Signs like these are already up in New York City. Proof of vaccination, their reality. Restaurant owners are furious to think they would have to turn families with children away. To bar children from entering our establishment is ludicrous. It's probably going to cause a 20% to 30% reduction. Mayor Lightfoot wants to avoid a similar disruption in Chicago, which is why she says proof of vaccination did not happen immediately. But even with a 13 day notice, many children won't meet the mandate. She wouldn't, she wouldn't be fully vaccinated at that point. And with so many Broadway and Chicago shows getting canceled, we should point out we haven't seen the same for next weekend. Keep in mind, that's New Year's Eve. Many of the venues have not canceled any uh, of the events so far, so we'll just have to wait and see how that plays out as the days roll on. Reporting live in downtown tonight, Jermont Terry, CBS 2 News. Brad? Jermont, thank you. That we will. As Jermont mentioned, the city's new vaccine mandate rolls out January 3rd. Anyone visiting restaurants, bars, gyms, entertainment, or recreation venues must show proof of vaccination to get in. The rule applies to everyone age 5 and up.